In this video we'll be showing you how to program PLUs. Now PLUs are individual products that appear on a cash register and they're also linked to a category. So if for example you run a store where there's a small amount of products, say under 200, then you may be able to use PLUs because it will give you a breakdown of how many of each sold. Uh, PLUs are not that useful to be honest with you if you have more than 200 products because that's the memory limitation on this machine. But should you want to do this anyway, you simply go to PLUs PLU settings, which is over here, you get the ID, so the first one it defaults to is a product number one or PLU number one, and we can put in a description for it, so we'll just put, pull it PLU one. It's a fixed price and it's linked to the grocery department, but we can actually link it to whichever department that we want to. At the moment we've only got two departments set up, so I'll change it to test. And then we'll put the price in as $1.99. The barcode is for future use, so it isn't currently used in the UK. And update to ECR. If we click on the next one, it goes to PLU number two. We can put in the description. So in this case, I'll put in test two. It's fixed price and it's linked to the grocery. And I'll put in $2.99. And once we're happy with all that, we can then simply update to ECR. And again, the beeps will determine or show you that uh, the actual information is being sent. It'll ask us if we're okay to override it, we choose yes. On the display, you can see that we've got the two PLUs being sent down to the till. And we simply press the clear button on the till, turn the key back round to the reg position, and then type in one PLU, two PLU, and you can now see on the receipt that both that information has been sent to the till, one PLU and test two PLU, and also the prices. Thank you for watching this video on how to program PLUs.